All right, so uh, good news. We have the header, you know, with at least those three bolts installed. Uh, and so now I believe it is time to install the intake manifold. And uh, I left it attached to the carburetor. So this is all one piece. Um, and what we're gonna do is obviously there's gonna be a gasket. Let's not forget any more gaskets tonight. Here we've got our deal. Let's go ahead and line it up because we do have some studs on here. Uh, we'll go ahead and line it up on there. That looks like a nice, good fit. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to set the camera down and try to line this up, and then we're going to figure things out. Now, oh, but just a couple of notes. These two ground wires are going to go, you know, they need to get grounded to the engine block, so um, I believe they go here. And then from what I can tell in the pictures, there's these little... These little bolt deals. Look at my picture here. You remember from that YouTube video, but I can see that one of them is close to the cam, and then another one is two over. So we're going to be putting those together. What I can't figure out is this one obviously goes somewhere. I don't know if it's that or I'm a little unclear there. So we'll figure it out. We're going to put this guy on. Oh, good. That's where that hose is. I was looking for you. Okay. And the gasket's in, so we know we did something right. Boom. Awesome. Okay. Let's get a bolt. Okay, so this is the part that freaks me out. Okay. All right, keep working. When you get freaked out, keep working. We're going to figure this out. I know that hose is going to go on there, but I don't want to. I want room. Man, there's just no room. Okay. Those ground wires, we talked about those being important. I can see them back there. One of these is the bottom on the far cam side. Right here, yeah, look at that. So let's go ahead and line that puppy up. Nice. Look at that. Sweet sound of sending a bolt home. And I can figure it out. Oh yeah, nice. Okay. Go, go, go. Yeah, nice. Okay, going in. And that's with like a bread tie that holds the, just a bendy wire holder. It's all the way through tight. And then, I'm a little confused because in the picture I pulled it out and those ground wires aren't on there. Aha! Uh -huh. No? Yes, ah! Aha! Okay, the ground wires, come here. See there's the ground wires? They go on the back of the intake manifold. If you can see, there's this black bolt, right? Uh, right? I can't get it to focus. There we go, right there. That's where they go. The back, not the, not on the, not on the, whatever it's called, the head is, the head side. Okay, so, so far we've gotten this bolt. Where are you? That one in, and then two over from that. Well, there's a stud is next. Yeah, see that stud back there? And then this one, which you can't see yet, uh, is gonna get the, it's gonna get the other clamp, clip clamp thing, whatever. And so we're making progress, yay! Yeah, so we got this, this guy goes under the third cylinder intake. My goodness, so we're gonna do our best to get back there. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay. Nope. That's just crooked. I just missed the whole thing. Kind of wish I had my five year old helper again with his tiny hands. Of course. I'm not happy to touch the spam for this. Alright. It's interesting. I guess what I could have done was mated these together and then put the head, or the head on, like I did to take it out. That might be a better way to do it. That's not how I did it, because it's not what the manual says. But I guess that does make a certain level of sense, since it is how I struggle this whole debacle. Okay, so. Um, uh huh, no, no, no. Okay. Alright, we really only have the one nut holding this whole thing together, so let's just take a peek. Oh, well, I guess on that other one. Shoot. Alright, well. But that was just finger tight. Let's just see if that gives us any. All right, back to undoing work we've done. That's not our first time doing that, right? 
Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four studs. One bolt that I've put in home. We got one, two more bolts and nuts on all four studs. Start with this one. There, there. So let's go ahead and go. Goodness. Yeah. All right. There we go. Two. Interesting. All right. Um, no easy ones left. <laughs> okay. This one's gonna go. All right, so I'm wrapping my basically my two middle fingers around the intake port for cylinder number three and sliding myself the bolt, the nut rather, and then turning it and then threading it. Oh yeah, okay. Then we'll get it finger tight for now, but really finger tight. Okay, one, two, three. There's one more stud somewhere. Oh, it's way over here. Easy. Oh, there is one easy one left. Okay. Nope. Get out of there. Yeah. Oh, thread. Thread. Yes. Okay. Boom. Uh, these ones came. Mr. Cove are 13. That probably needs a socket, okay. Ha, ah, not even close. All right, back to the wrench, you dreamer. Okay. There we're on, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's tight, okay. And then, this little burger way back there. Come on, really? Yes, you know you want to. You are. Okay. Oh, that's funny. So loose, I probably could figure out a new one. Yep. All right, there we go. It's funny, this one's actually not the worst. It's certainly not good, though. But I can get to it. No, I got to it to get it off, right? So, there's a way. The problem is, that was like five weeks ago, and who remembers details about what they did five weeks ago on something that has this many steps and parts? Maybe I would if I had posted the video and I made it, but I didn't do that. I waited. All right, so you're along the back side of the intake now. Um, that hose is going over the firewall, but let's see if I can pull it out of the way. Here's the deal. We've got these ground wires. Uh, see them? Yes. Okay, good. And I believe that they go on this little nut, or bolt, and then there's one right here. So... I'm going to run it through the, through the wire first. It fits, that's good, that's good sound. And do my best to line it up. Oh yeah, nice, line it up. Finger tight it. Okay, it's threading. Oh yes! Thank you, Jesus. All right, finger tightening. Tightening, I don't know, something. Okay, now. Let's get that 10 millimeter wrench on it. Oh yes. After all that hand wrenching, it's really nice to be able to put a socket on something. Boom! Lockdown! Alright, now, the exciting one that you can see, maybe. I'll find out in editing. Alright, so this guy, I'm gonna very carefully undo. It's got that little clip on it, that's okay. Come with me, little clip. Good, now go through that ground wire. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yes, okay, good. Somehow line back up with that hole. There's a lot going on here. Alright, there we go. Oh, come on now. Let me turn. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, yes. I 
turn you right round, baby, right round. Yes, there we go. Good. Yay! All right, now. Let's get that finger tight. So grounded right now. As in electrically grounded in the good sense, not on restriction. All right. Boom. Now, let's get that little clip business. You know what? That's the clip that I saw in the picture that I couldn't figure out where it went or where it came from because the carburetor was still on the head when I pulled it off in the picture. Okay. Tighten that down. Okay. That'll work. Yes. Okay. Now, let's make sure we're not burying these electrical connectors. There's some over here. Two. There's two. One high, one low. So one low. That'll be easy. Jam it on. Okay, fuel to the carburetor. I think. Okay, there we go. And then, they look attached on the other end. And my plan is to look at each hose as I hook it up and make sure that it's hooked up on both sides. This one looks like it's supposed to be clipped in over here on the firewall. There we go, back. It's back in. Let's get some pliers. I'm not convinced that these clippy kind are any easier than a regular hose clamp. Like, they can be, sometimes, but other times, not so much. Making progress. I look like an insane person, but I'm making progress. Uh, I've been able to get some things done. We got wire run through this little clip guy. We got this little, I don't know, let's see, yeah, there's a little clip that holds these two hoses together. That's on. Got both hose clamps, it was a nightmare, but I got them slid all the way down the hoses. There's one here, one there. So that's where we're at so far. Um, we've got more to do. Um, all these electrical connectors need to get hooked up, but that's not the end of the world. Oh, look at the ground. Goes to the distributor, okay, that's later. On this side, this little guy's gonna clip somewhere. All right, so let's go ahead and hook this guy up. Boom. Are you kidding me? All that trouble with the wrenches and you can move my hand? Okay, you can get them at least in place by here. And I found I just needed like some fatter pliers to be able to make sure I was grabbing them both. Well, this one actually would be different. All right, there we go, boom. Then, yeah, okay, so then this is gonna clearly go right there on actually few spots. Okay, look at you. All shiny and neat. Okay, and then where do you go? On the bees, probably. And obviously, you go right there. You can see that little black, black, black tape and black tape. That was how I started this whole process. Was colored tape. I could match the colors, but then I hadn't way underestimated how many things I'd be disconnecting, and I ran out of color pretty quick. So. So, assorted hoses and wires, I don't know the names to any of these things, you know, people do maybe, I don't know. If people who do are not watching this video, I guarantee that. There we go. I do like those shiny vacuum hoses though. I think this whole thing's gonna look pretty nice, can't wait to throw that valve cover on. It looks so nice. Oh, there we go won't really be visible. And you know what? The other thing is, uh, no one's ever going to pop the hood of the Geo to see what's under here, so that would be the other benefit, is that I was the only one who was ever going to see it in the first place, except for the YouTubes. They're going to see it. You're going to see it. If you're still watching, then you'll stick around at the end of the valve cover. Valve cover goodness. That'll work. All right. Okay, this guy, though, blue and blue, Let's, oh, yep, sure enough, there's a little spot back there, and then... No worries, not to worry, everybody's okay. There we go, slide you down. And slide you up. Yes, do it, do it, do it, do it. That'll begin, and then... I don't know what that is, but it's on the vacuum diagram, so I can find out, but I don't care. All I care about is hooking everything back up, which I believe I'm doing such a job with. That's kind of my biggest nightmare, though, is that you spend, like, you know, 
half a day of your life putting it all together and then it doesn't work because something got, you know, not put back together underneath or inside or some nonsense. Like everyone needs to see like, you know, this level of detail. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe you're frustrated like me and you're like, oh, I must see it finished. I can understand that. All right, we're gonna grab you, squeeze it all the way. Use my other hand. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh yeah, boom, victory. Oh, my glove is stuck, I don't care. There we go. Okay. Next up, thanks for sticking with me on that. I see red tape. So we need to find a vacuum line with red tape. Boom, look at you, okay. Red tape gone, red tape gone. That's the nice thing about these silicone hoses too, is they actually go on really easy. The original rubber hoses, well, A, a lot of them cracked when I was trying to take them off. The best thing seemed to be that if you twist them to break them loose, then you could wiggle them off. If you just tried to wiggle them off or pry them off, then they would snap or break. Uh, and my understanding is vacuum hoses are pretty tight normally, and so you have to like get a little bit of soapy water, put it on the tube, and then slide them on, so that would be kind of annoying. Um, Thankfully, I'm not having to do that because these silicone hoses are really easy to work with, which I appreciate right now. Come on, get on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, boom, that just happened, okay. So hoses are a lot connected. I don't wanna say all just yet. I see electrical connectors. Let's see if we can figure some of them out. All right, so what's this? Oh, that's the distributor wire. Okay, let's just pull you out of the way for now because we you're clearly labeled. Thank you, Mr. Jason, my friend. Jason, who labeled that for me. Um, all right, that's connected. Okay, look, this is something I can do. I'm kind of just like, okay, what can I do? Let's do that. This hose goes on here. That's all right, everything we get done is one step closer, right? Yes. And hopefully helpful, because again, I wish I was watching a YouTube video that was showing me, okay, here's one, put this on. But I'm not. My instructions just said, hook everything back up like you took it apart. Oh, aha, look, I found a hose. Okay, this hose goes to the firewall. Ha, <laughs> that's funny, I just touched something loose. Yay, something we can do, let's do it. You go on, like so. Good. I like when they line up right where they were, because then I feel like I'm doing it right for sure. <laughs> All right, that's promising. Um, I mean, dude, the engine bay is filling up. That feels good. Like, look at all those things that are on the engine. That's good. All right, well, let's keep going. Okay, so I'm looking at the vacuum diagram. This is that little white deal with the very short red hose that's on the firewall. Here's the throttle body, and then to the left is where it wants me to put this dealie. With the um, that canister looking thing, having the wires going toward the passenger side from the EVAP canister. So, let's try that. Hmm. Everything's the right length, because I cut each hose to length, so. Let's see, maybe go. Good news, I've solved the mystery of where the heck does this thing go? It goes like this. Uh, so. These two, there's a hole here, I don't know if you see that, and then there's a hole here. They're both gonna go into the top of that um, intake manifold, and then there's gonna be a bolt over here on the side that's gonna go with the timing cover. So that's where that goes. Let's go ahead and put it in place because it would be nice to have some things going the way they should. These are these guys. And I'm just gonna call threads in there, and then I will say one nice thing about videoing this whole thing is the camera has a light on it, and that's kind of handy. All right, again, one step closer. I'm gonna tighten those puppies down. Okay, I got this bolted on. I think that's actually where we left off, and I figured this out. This guy, and it says carb. Again, thank you, Jason Numenatis, who helped me by labeling stuff. This guy is gonna plug in right back here, so. 
It says carburetor. Boom, plugs into the carburetor. Okay. I mean, these gotta be really close by. That clearly must go here. Not that clearly, but let's try. <laughs> you look like you want to. You don't want to. That's funny. All right, well, not that guy. Um, oh, isn't there a third? Oh, okay, here we go. This one under here. This is carb also. Wait for it. Boom! That's the same color and everything. Get in there. Get in there, get in there. Ah, oh, yeah! Okay. Oh, now where do you go? Ah, look at you, down here. Oh my gosh, you guys, the puzzle pieces are falling into place. Boom, that clicked. Okay. Where do you go? Ah, yes, 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 okay. See what we wouldn't have labeled that. That's pretty obvious. Okay, so uh, that's good. There's all these wires, but I believe they go to the valve covery bit. So I'm gonna leave those alone for now. Let's unlabel this. Okay. This clip, I believe, held this tube as well, but um, I could probably get it. I don't want to pinch any, oh yeah, that fits fine. So that is all neat and tidy. That looks connected, connected. Ah, where are you going? That looks like somebody who needs a plug. Ah, and here, this looks like a blue piece. <laughs> no, what? No. <laughs> okay, well you look like you should go together. Maybe you are getting a red one. No. No, nope. maybe you don't get a plug. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, look at you. Hello, red and blue items. Blue. It's funny, like, these pieces were so hard to deal with before, but now that they're some of the last pieces of the puzzle, it's like, just like a real puzzle. You know, when you get down to those final pieces, even if they're like super nondescript and don't make any sense, they start to fall in place a little bit. Okay, that looks promising. As long as we're going from different wiring harnesses, those look, oh, they might be. You know what else is awesome? It's doing all this one-handed. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's good times. All right, well, you don't go there. Oh, here we go. Here's a white guy coming from underneath there somewhere. Looks like you go to here. Good, okay. I'd feel a lot better if all these electrical connectors were connected. All right, we're looking for a white one, a, a black one, and a black one. All right, um, there's this little clip. That probably clipped somewhere. Uh, doesn't really help, does it? Oh, look at you. Okay, what is this right by my hand? That's black. Seems like it could be that, that, yeah, three connectors, oh wait, no, that's got six connectors, so maybe it's this one. No, that's only got two. I mean, how many? Oh, hello, what's this guy way down here? See this one? Of course you don't. There we go. See that? That has six. It's not very long. It's gray. Ah, uh, it's kind of that, is it this guy? No, but look, I just found one. Okay, this guy. That's off the inlet hose from the radiator. Uh, what color are you? Okay. Maybe this. That looks awesome. Ah! Okay. <laughs> That's okay. This is the puzzle. We'll figure it out. Um, all right. We clearly, clearly are going to need to connect that to something. I mean, those. Okay, this goes to the distributor. We know that. Aha! Look at this. Look at that. Putting him away made me find this. So that guy has two and is sort of gray colored. Has three. 
That guy has two and a sort of great color, but I don't feel like you have the reach that you need to get over there. Oh, but look! Ah, you got kind of sandwiched in over here, but you don't go there. It's over these hoses, it needs to come... Yeah, it needs to come over, it was under. Okay, yes, awesome. Now, you probably now reach to this guy. Success! Okay, and then this is gonna go above this, uh, what is that thing called? Purge canister, I bet. Or possibly that doesn't go there. Yeah, those don't go together. Dang, okay, well they look very similar. Oh, maybe you go to that blue one. No, nothing goes to that blue one. Hmm. All right, well, that's all right, we got one in. And that means this is closer to where it should go. So, I mean, it's, I, I, how many things are really gonna be in reach of that cord? Really, that doesn't go there? Oh, it does go there, okay. Okay, so that one goes there, boom. All right, so this harness that has the three, you got red, blue, and black, and that black goes to the gray of the water inlet, okay. So this is really close to where it's gotta be. We need to find another, another plug. Looking around. Of course, there's like wiring diagrams and stuff, but I mean, I don't, I don't give myself the credit to be able to sort all that out. I just don't want to also. Hmm. Okay, great news. Uh, I found the plug. So this guy doesn't reach very far, but it actually reaches up here to this, uh, I'll, whatever, the distributor thing. So let's go ahead and figure out that distributor thing. These are those T40s. I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. Let's set them right there. That seems not too dangerous. And then... Now, I remember from looking at this before, because I was not confident I'd get it back together, but then I figured out that it's super clean in a pattern, and you'll see it gets like a V-shape on this left side, and this thing is V-shaped, but then there's a bump on the one side, so the V-shape is going to go to the V-shape, like so. Let's see, let's just flip it 180 and see if it would fit or not. Oh, yep, yeah, 180. So that only goes in the one way. That's good. Now this can slide, I believe that has to do with timing or something, I don't know. But what we're gonna do is mark it, kind of put it where the old bolts were as much as we can, which looks like they were all the way kind of like this. So let's get those 40s. That's funny, I worked so hard to clean the whole engine and I missed that piece and now I'm glad I did. All right, that one's on, finger tight at least, and then this guy. And now, the last of the electrical connectors. Yeah, so this connector here and this connector here are the same, but they're flipped, so you couldn't actually connect them to each other. But I, it makes me nervous that they're the same, because it was like tricky to figure that out. So, okay, we can go ahead and put that on now. All right, so the number one is the longest one. It's also labeled number one, right? So we're gonna trace that one, it's the top. There we go. So just like I thought, it's gonna go... Of course, we'll have to take these out, that's funny. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the end of the puzzle. It's starting to come together, I feel so good. That would be so much easier with two hands, that's funny. That, like, was way unnecessarily difficult. All right, one. Okay, more progress. These are tight, and this is good. Um, bad news. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This says to the distributor. Does that maybe get grounded there? Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know where that goes yet. And unfortunately, I don't know where this goes either. I found, I thought I had solved the electrical pieces, but I found a piece. Um, so... It, it's nearby, because this, this plug's in here, so I mean, it really has to be within reach. It doesn't fit either of either that or that. And if I remember, I'm, I feel like I'm remembering that these were disconnected to begin with. So, like, that doesn't freak me out too bad. Um, I just don't see much, but I did run the throttle cable. Uh, I ran it under, I think that's right. I don't think it goes over, I think it goes under, because it has this weird bend in it. 
I just slid that in, that little notch there, and then finger tight, tighten this guy. I'm gonna obviously need to tighten and tighten it. And then you've got the little like bicycle shifter cable looking. I'm gonna loosen this nut. That way I can push the whole deal. Ooh. Camera was balancing on it. No. Okay, well I'm gonna do that so I can slip it out of there. So yeah, there we go. Okay, that's how you do it. The barrel goes in, boom. All the way in, and then this thing's gonna thread around. And then to give myself a little slack, all I do is push the accelerator. Or, oh, whatever. And then the tighten. Perfect. Okay, so now we're tight. And then all I gotta do is pick this up, slide it into place, tighten this puppy down. And now when I push the pedal, it will automatically pull on this and it looks good. So hooray, that's that. Okay, uh, I'm not hating my life right now. We're getting close. Uh, here's where we're at. The ground wire for the distributor, which I couldn't find before, it actually goes on the bolt that's opposite of this, so down below. Um, you can see where it goes, right there. That's where that's supposed to go. I had to look that one up on the internet. While I was on the internet, I confirmed that I can still drop tools all over the place. No, I confirmed that this blue wire and this gray wire do nothing. They're not meant to go anywhere. Still, this guy is a mystery to me, so he doesn't go either of those places. I'm going to just kind of like 360 try every possible combination, but I just got the rest of the bolts installed on the exhaust header, um, so I can put that shield on later. We're moving on for now because the cylinder head is still not bolted down. All right, things are getting pretty close. Now, if, if you're paying attention, you might be like, hey, the whole point is to do the head and it's not even bolted on yet. So there's one, two, three, four head bolts up there. One, two, three, four head bolts here. There's a whole pattern that you gotta do them. You gotta torque them down to a really specific uh, torque setting. I do have a torque wrench um, and I do have those fancy head bolts. So let's do that in a second, but first let me just tighten these bits down that we just did. 